Viva la vegan! Hello, I'm Lee Chantel from vivalavegan.net and welcome to this week's question and answer series. We do this every Tuesday here on this YouTube channel. If you have not, make sure you subscribe. Now I'm sure you've heard, if you're vegan like myself, I've been a vegan for quite a while now, um, many different comments. What would you do if this happened or if that happened? One of them people seem to bandy around quite a bit is what if you were on a deserted island and you had to eat an animal to survive? Would you do this? <laughs> now I really really detest hypotheticals part one and I honestly can't think of a reason in real life where I would actually need to eat an animal to survive ever. And I also actually quite like the idea of being on a deserted island anyway. You would have an abundance of berries, coconuts, bananas, so many other fruits and veggies as well. So I don't understand why you would need to be consuming animals when there's other things to be eating. So for myself, in a hypothetical world as well as a real world, I would never eat an animal um, if I had to, to survive. I'd also just like to talk about a comment that I received on the previous video that I did to this. Um, it was from a YouTube comment and um, she said that her family was actually trying to force her to consume animal products when she was sick. Now I can't stress enough how important it is to look after your health um, and your lifestyle and to take time out when you need to. I've just been sick so sorry that you didn't get last week's video. I'll do another one on Friday to make up for it. So, um, and definitely I always get sick whenever I'm doing too much. So I was in Sydney, didn't take some time out when I came home and it's my own fault. I'm still recovering. So we definitely need to take these lessons that we get from the universe and from our own bodies to heal ourselves, to rest, to rejuvenate and get back on the right track. And I'm sure you know if you're a vegan, whenever you're sick, whenever you have a sniffle, whenever something's wrong, it's because you're a vegan. And it doesn't matter about all the other people in the world that are sick because of actually what they eat and they consume. And I really think the best way to solve this is to be the healthiest version of yourself and a vegan that you can be. Know what to eat and just cut back on all the processed stuff. There's no need to be strict, there's no need to count calories, there's no need to do all that sort of stuff. But please do look after yourselves and each other because we really won't be much good to our animal friends and the vegan movement when we're sick. There's no need to eat animals animal flesh or animal secretions to survive when you can thrive on a vegan diet and a vegan lifestyle. Make sure you do research, find out what you need to be consuming if you're not aware and see vivalavegan.net for more information. Please join us next week. Our question then that I will answer will be, do you think gruesome and shocking videos are effective? See you then.